Hi, Scorpio. Thank you for being here. Thank you for liking, sharing, commenting, and subscribing to the channel. It means a lot. Please continue to do so. All links are below if you need to get in contact with me. Let's get into it. Thank you, God, for blessing Scorpio with a clear, concise message from you. All right, let's see. Let's see what's going on for you. Uh, maybe in love and romance, Scorpio. Let's see. All right, let's see. Seven of Cups. So, yeah, that's your energy. You could be kind of confused or you got a lot of choices that you can make. You got a lot of people that you can, you know, pull from. You're having fun. You're just enjoying yourself, you know, uh, especially if you're a masculine energy. You're not taking any one real, any one relationship serious. You're not taking it, you know, serious. You're just having fun, uh, mixing it up with several different people. You had ten of wands. Uh, maybe even having sex with more than one person. Uh, again, having fun, doing your own thing, not knowing where you're going to land, but knowing that you're showing up for the party. Uh, what else is going on? Yeah, Queen of Cups. So you, you're kind of fixed in that energy of this is what I'm doing right now. My emotions are closed. Um, I don't have room for... A real close relationship. Some of you are trying to get some business matters handled or you're trying to present something to the world. Let's see. Yeah, Ace of Wands. Yeah, some of you are like in an entrepreneurial type of energy to the point where you just don't have time for love or you're not as serious about it as um, maybe you should be, especially if you're in a relationship. It's a lot of hit and miss in a relationship if you are in one. It's a very trying time. You don't know if this is going to last. Four of Wands. Um, so there could be a coming back together. You guys could. Um, what's the Four of Wands? Some of you got a like a rotation of women here. You you see a lot of different women. You you're having fun. You're keeping up a lot of different energy. Some of you are wanting to get what you want or have a baby or get married or elope yeah three of wands or you want to take the lead on something knight of pentacles the full card so somebody wants to somebody's de dedicated and devoted to getting what they want I don't know if this is a well thought out plan but somebody is like I want to do it or I want to have it what is the full card The magician, yeah, somebody's hell bent on getting what they want, um, manifesting what it is they really want, getting somebody back, or I keep hearing have a baby or manifest a real relationship. Some of you are hanging out with friends so that you can. This could be online dating. This could be traveling today. What is this about? This could be people flying in, flying out. But there's not nobody serious. He has like, you know, a, a toss of the coin, like doing whatever it is you want to do. Um, Not making a decision. The tower, it could be you. It could all fall down. What is this about? The emperor. Damn, that is you. Um. So it's just like maybe you are just stuck in your ways. This is how you want to live your life. This is what you want to do. You don't want to be committed to anyone. Um, yeah, you don't want to be committed to anyone. This might even be low vibration, like a low vibrational Scorpio. It could be you. It could be someone else. What is this about? It just seems as if the reading is all about somebody just having a very fun, carefree lascivious life they do what they want they date who they want they go where they want they eat what they want they answer to no one they tell everybody the sweet little nothings they make everybody feel like they're the one they got several ones okay um twin flames you can have a twin flame here yeah somebody could be saying i like you that could be you karmic relationships so this is if you're involved with an energy like this, do know that you're dealing with somebody. It could be karmic. They like you. It could be twin flame. They're not choosing the journey. They're choosing to continuously do what they want to do, how they want to do it. Wedding rings. Yeah, someone 
like do you say that somebody could be married or wants to get married or somebody is trying to get married to somebody who oh to somebody is in who's in this energy yeah they're not showing their true feelings hiding gaslighting deluding yeah this is somebody who's got a lot they go on a lot of different dates they got a lot of different people it is what it is they meet someone new all the time there is competition there is other woman or other man this is what somebody likes let's see what's going on for you in career and finance some of you are still going to choose to be with this person or with this type of energy it doesn't seem like the best plan like a well thought out plan that's what we saw with the fool card some of you could be dealing with a Taurus, the bombshell you know she's earthy practical steadfast she she's very pretty um tenacious you know deliberate you know fertile again back to that fertility like some of you want to have a baby somebody wants a baby it may not be the best choice somebody wants to get married or have a baby or do something big in the third house perception you need to look at something different uh, speech thoughts social matters excursions dating somebody is dating doing a lot of that street life that's what i'm talking about somebody is for the streets period circulation didn't i say that somebody's got like a rotation of women or men here um sociability or they, they're just out they're always socializing let's see second house all right so it's like somebody has the best of all worlds someone has someone that they're committed to and then they can go and act single somebody makes someone feel like they're the only one but there's several um somebody has a lot to offer in terms of finance and uh luxury and material possessions and security the aesthetics not only look good but they are good um maybe this is how they get people to play the game with them it's because they offer a lot uh this is supposed to be career and finance all right so um, some of you may use your look or your looks or you do something with a feminine energy, a, a, a big group of feminine energy and where you socialize or this could be like a. Um, this could be a sorority, yeah, a sorority or um, like, I don't know, this could be like a group of people. You could be in partnership with someone here. Um, this is how you make your money. Uh, you could. um you need to focus down on your some of you trying to get a second stream of income try to focus on your credit score fourth house maybe your family your background um you're trying to get you have some roots maybe something to pass to your children 12th house surrender there's a lot of secrets and subconscious things you need to forgive yourself for this could be baggage that you're, that something's holding you back to where you can't manifest the life that you want. You need to surrender to something. Moon, maybe your feelings, your instinct, your nurturing, your gut feelings. Um, something about lineage and then we have family. So your family, you know, you might need to do some clearing of family uh, lineage or family history. Uh, maybe you have a curse on your line or your bloodline here. Um, some of you are trying to have uh, like global success, far reaching success. You just need to take action on something, clearing family uh, lineage, uh, taking action in a business, being the boss here, being more serious about whatever it is you have to offer the world. You can't manifest anything. You can't, if you're like, if you're in the energy of sleeping around and keeping up so many so much confusion and frustration around you that's just a word of advice i don't feel like this emperor needs that though he's already established well established this emperor could even be promising some of the women that he deals with that he's going to help them with their career this is what i have for you this is uh, if it resonates for you, let me know how it resonates for you. Go over to the website and book your own reading there. Ask a question or two by texting the question to the number below. You can also donate to the channel by clicking the Buy Ella Coffee link. Catch me live every Tuesday, Thursday, and Sunday night, 9.30 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. Thank you. Many blessings to you. Take care.